This was not really a mistake. I'm not sure how this happened, but on my last trip, um, when I destroyed my battery and ran me $500, I had I got to the beach. Um, this is my daughter's mountain bike, uh, a really nice little Johnny Nerd Out special. Um, pull back and let you see the the Dragon Slayer in all its in all its beauty. Got to the beach and of a fun little place to go do some beach riding and let me make sure this is turned on hit the new battery turned on yep and I'll turn on the I'm using this light to kind of brighten things up in my garage here got to the lake turned the bike on and bike is now on and there's a you can see a throttle right here and I push the throttle down and lo and behold nothing and I was like well wait a minute I've got a full battery and no power so the first thing I thought was we'll check all the cords so I checked all the linkage I checked the battery connection to make sure that the the battery was connected uh, we took it off, put it back on. That may be where the locking didn't occur, where it then fell off. Checked everything else and could not figure it out. Um, so a trip kind of ruined. But then I looked and there was a little silver piece sitting right here next to this. This right here is a magnetic switch. I don't know if it's a reed switch, but could possibly be. I know it's a magnetic switch. And how that works, you can see the little magnet sitting right here. Whenever you pull this to break, it pulls the magnet away from the switch and kills the power to the motor. Well, look what's missing right there. No, no switch. So, um, or no magnet. And with no magnet, no switch. Let me see if I can give us a little close-in view of what I'm talking about. There's the no, no little silver magnet sitting on the end. And over here, as you can see, little silver magnet sitting right on the end of that thing. There's the little magnet, the switch, and that's what had broken off. Luckily, oh my gosh, how luckily it had been pulled up into this little groove right here because this is a magnet shell or a metallic shell, so it got pulled up inside. So, when I got to it, when I finally figured out what was going on, and mind you, I know nothing about motorbikes. I'm an OBGYN, so that's it. I don't know anything. So, what I thought was, well, let's just do this. Let's just get a little epoxy and epoxy it up. So let me go get some epoxy ready. We'll epoxy that on and see if it works. Here's the, you can see the, I put the magnet in a little um, bag right here you can see it so I wouldn't lose it can you imagine that little teeny thing on a beach and you can definitely see that it's a magnet because it sticks to my pickups just like that and also if I stick it next to this reed now what listen now the bike is running again so there you go we just need to epoxy that little guy back into the space where it's supposed to be. You can see it even holds on right now, just not well enough that you'd want to trust it. So, I have the five minute epoxy on. Ah, there we go. Come down, see if I can get a little bit closer. I may get in your way as we're looking. There's the thing without 
the uh, the magnet on it. It's been close to five minutes, and I'm now just going to rest this right up in there with my five minute epoxy and let it sit right there and that's it we now have a magnet back where it's supposed to be as it goes in and out of focus I think that should do the trick as you can see right there just holding on now let's check the ah, let me take off my pink gloves by the way, whenever you're working with epoxy, wear pink gloves. It always works better if you're wearing pink gloves. Um, turn the bike back on. We have power. As you can see, power. And now, we have rotation. Uh, like I said, that little magnet right there. Focus, come on. I'm just trying to focus on the battery. That little magnet right there can really mess up your weekend. Okay. Uh, shout out again to Johnny Nerdout who built this bike for me. Actually, for my daughter. It's a gorgeous build. The bike was about $800. The the uh, thousand watt motor, and it actually had a 52 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery. I went with a little smaller battery this time because she weighs about 100 pounds, so she never used the battery up. Um, and thanks so much for getting that back to me, Johnny. I really appreciate you and the business that you run. By the way, Johnny's moved from Salt Lake City now to, uh, I believe he's now in, somewhere in the Northwest. I don't know where, but I sure, anybody who can use him, look what a clean install he did. You can barely even tell. People don't even know that it's really a, uh, a mountain bike or a, an e-bike without the battery. Of course, the battery is a dead giveaway. There she is. Thanks all.